composition for chamber music called Brindisi. Brindisi means toast, of course, and uh, is uh, unpretentious and graceful and flowing like a vals. And in this Brindisi, uh, Verdi celebrates the sincerity of wine and its great ability to make everything look more beautiful and happier and more sincere. So let's uh, listen to uh, the Brindisi um, and uh, oh, let's read before the, the translation. Pour me some wine, you only glass among happy soils, you do not lie, non sei menzognero. You life of senses, the gladness of art, madness of youth, ghost pretender, pour me some wine, gladness of a heart. You're making happy the boring cares, who better heals the one bounds of the body? If the providential vine couldn't be given to us, the human sorrow would be immortal. Pour me some wine. So give me one second, because I'm, I'm about to open uh, the first YouTube. And uh, here it is. <laughs> Like a boss. Okay, just to give you an idea and then uh, what she can do. Shape it. Just a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, uh, like this. Like this. Yes. Okay, <laughs> got it. And then the very famous uh, uh, Liviamo, Liviamo, that also is the title of our seminar, Liviamo from La Traviata, that is the very famous, even if you are not uh, an opera uh, connoisseur, you all, I am sure that all of us know very well Liviamo. So Liviamo is just uh, um, uh, a celebration of life. And, uh, and uh, let's read together uh, the translation. Let's drink, let's drink from the joyous. It's a joyful composition. Joyous chalices that beauty so truly enhances. Che la bellezza in fiore, la fuggevole fuggevole ora si inebria volontà and may the brief moment be inebriated with voluptuousness. Libiamo nei dolci fremiti che suscita l'amore, poiché quell'occhio al cuore onnipotente va. Let's drink for the ecstatic feeling that love arouses, because this eye aims straight to the earth onnipotently. Let's drink, my love, and the love among the chalices will make the kisses warmer. Libiamo amore, amore fra i calici, più caldi baci avrà. Okay, let's do again <laughs> the second one. Uh, here it is with the very famous singer. You know this uh, composition, right? You can sing all together. I don't know how to have it. Let me see if I can do it. Yes! <laughs> serious, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me introduce uh, Giosuè Carducci. He was one of our 
uh, Nobel Prize, Italian Nobel Prize for Literature, Giuseppe, Giosuè Carducci, was born in, um, in Pisa. 1835, he started uh, writing when he was still uh, a child. He's considered kind of a revolutionary poet, but also very um, involved in all the uh, politics uh, uh, situation. And also, Giosuè Carducci was, uh, yes, fighting for the Italian uh, independence. Um, for those who are Italian, uh, for those who have been uh, studying Italian literature, Giosuè Carducci is very famous because of the composition San Martino, because we had studied uh, San Martino even by heart. And also there was a, also a very famous singer, an artist in Italy who transformed this uh, a poem into a um, popular uh, song uh, a few years ago. What is important from this very